Hey guys, turntables are a lot more popular nowadays, but as with every turntable, you usually have to connect it up to an extra amplifier which takes out a lot of space, and you will also have to connect it up to a pair of speakers which again takes out a lot of space, and then finally you have to deal with all these messy wires. Uh, not very hassle-free, don't you think? So today I'm about to show you how to skip all those and simply connect your turntable up to a space-saving compact speaker like a portable speaker. Okay, and in this case, we'll be using a vintage or not so vintage Bose Sounding Mini portable speaker. This is one that I've owned for a couple of years now. I'm about to use the Rega P25 turntable as an example. And I'm going to show you how to connect this turntable to this portable speaker. Okay, but first off, these are the equipment that you need. Of course, you need the turntable first and the portable speaker. And you will also need Usually, you will also need this. Now, what's this box here? This is called a phono stage preamplifier. This box will allow the turntable to uh, output sound effectively to a sound system, or in this case, a portable speaker. So, what I'm about to do is I'm going to connect this turntable to this first, and then I'll connect this phono stage pre-amplifier to the Bose Sounding Mini. So you gotta add this to this and from this to this. I've connected this to this already but I haven't connected this to this yet and to do that I'm going to use a wire called an RCA cable to a mini jack wire. RCA cables, uh, they usually come in red and white configuration and the other end of this cable is a 3.5mm stereo input jack. Okay, This cable is commonly found, you can go to your local hardware store. Uh, in Singapore, we have Challenger, Harvey Norman, Newstick Technologies and Quartz. These places sell these cables for like $7. Okay, it's uh, pretty long. Uh, I think I got a 1.8 meter one. So the question comes up, what if I connect my turntable directly to this speaker without going through the phono preamplifier? What would happen? Now, what would happen is you will not be able to hear anything from the speaker. Okay, so what the phono preamplifier will do is it brings up this tiny audio signal generated by my turntable to a level that can be heard in the speaker. So if I don't have this, there won't be sound coming out from here. Now that I've connected my turntable up to the phono preamplifier over there, I will be connecting my phono preamplifier now to the speaker. And to do that, I'm going to use the RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable that I told you about earlier and show you exactly how. Let me turn the speaker on its side so I can show you. Okay, so over here, you have a jack like this. This is called a mini jack cable input. So this input allows me to connect this jack over here to this port over here like this. Okay. So remember the other side, we have a pair of RCA connectors. Well, this will then go to the preamplifier. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some light over here so that you can see. So, at the back of the preamp, you have my turntable connections. So, the turntable will connect here, and then over here under the label. Output, you have right and left. Connect the other end of the cable right to right and left to left. Like this. Okay? Alright, so everything's been connected up and I've switched everything on already. 
Now I'm gonna play you a song from Noah Jones' album, Come Go With Me, on the Vega P25 turntable and on the Bobo Sounding Mini portable speaker. Here we go. Okay, so this is how you do it. This is how you connect a vintage turntable to a portable speaker, like the Bose Sounding Mini. Uh, of course, I'm using the Vega P25, which was built uh, a long time ago. But uh, if you're thinking of getting a turntable, right now you can get uh, modern ones like the Project Essential 2. But newer turntables tend to have a built-in USB port so that you can transfer your songs directly from vinyl to a computer. And they also tend to have this phono preamplifier built into the turntable, which will reduce the cost of owning a turntable and reduce the hassle as well, because you can then connect your turntable directly to the speaker without going through a phono pre. And okay, so this is how you do it. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Peace out.